Hey there, so did you do movie watching people? This is Tender, and welcome back to more Ruby. In the last part, we started a Nuzlocke type challenge, and in this part, we're going to continue onward. How do we stand? I'll do that later. Running. What? They almost just. It's like a weird graphical glitch. Anyway, get these berries. So yeah, I apologize for that unexpected hiatus I took like in the last few days, just between work and other things, like it all just kinda turned into me not getting around to recording. Yeah, I don't feel like voicing this one. Just give me the chest over here. Ugh. Yep, I am a trainer. Blah blah blah. blah. I don't care. Oh god, I got hiccups. Rustboro City is where we're just outside the outskirts of. X defend. But let's go do some battling with those people after I run into Rustboro City and heal my Pokemon. Yes, quite. And oh, I'm pretty sure that's where the Pokemon Center was in Quartz or something. No, the Pokemon Center is right here. God, what was the town name in a uh, Quartz? I can't even remember. God, that was a fun let's play. Everyone knows my Quartz let's play, so it made me famous. Not doing games like this. Because everyone does games like this. Those are good times. And I'm like, people still ask me questions about Quartz to this day. And I try to help them to the best of my ability, but I don't remember everything about Quartz. Yes, let's battle with our Pokemon. I would like to play it again someday, though. Kind of for my own, you know, maybe on my own time, maybe another Let's Play, but I feel like if like, my original idea was that I would like to do it again someday, but I'd like to space it out, so I'm not just doing that and then doing it again. What kind of Let's Player plays the same game multiple times in, like, you know, succession? I don't know. It's weird. Oh god, I just realized I hope Jerome doesn't die in this battle, because this is... Oh god! I don't want her to die either. Oh god. I don't know who I should get rid of first. Probably the low Ted. Uh, tackle attack. Kill. Dang it. Okay, come on. Kill it, kill it. Excellent. Because, yeah. It's Nuzlocke. Pokemon. Oh, crap. That's kind of what I was afraid of. Oh, well. Growl and growl. So it can't counter anything. And I can be saved. Failure. Storing energy. And growl again. Kill it. With your growling. That will definitely work. Unleash energy. What energy? It growls four times. That's the energy. Confusion! Red. That probably won't matter, because I'm about to kill it. And it's dead. I killed it. That's such a great series. Friendship is Witchcraft. Such a great series. And there we go. Let's fight this dude. A water Pokemon expert. Let me guess. Magikarp. And nothing but Magikarp. If I remember right, that's all he has. Yep. Magikarp. Totally the expert there, buddy. Player of confusion. <laughs> Curses. I've been bested by a splash attack. This is not good. Shut up. You know, the interesting thing about Magikarp is actually that he's got pretty good speed for such a crappy Pokemon. And with Swift Swim, he can actually move pretty quick in the rain. If I remember right, his base speed, I think, is like, uh, 75. Which is pretty good. Not great, but for a not fully evolved Pokemon, that's actually pretty good. Of course, you can't really do anything with that speed, but whatever. It's all good. He could like flail. That's about it. You know, focus sash and flail. Still won't work very well because his base attack is like 20, I think, if I remember right off the top of my head. Die, magic arm. Kill. I killed it. And gain 25 experience. Indubitably. I don't care. Let's just keep going on this nuzlocking adventure. 
and let's go to the Pokemon Center adventure and heal our Pokemon because I'm not doing that part of the Nuzlocke where you're not allowed to use Pokemon Centers. That would be horrible. Whatever. This is a very laid back Nuzlocke jump with this place again. Cutter. Oh, actually, I do need to stop by here. I completely forgot about this. That determined expression, that limber way you move, and your well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait, don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. I'm sure you'll be able to- you'll be capable of putting this HM to good use. I need to be modest or shy. Go on, take it. Nifty. I have no Pokemon I can learn this. Well, fuck me. And I'm gonna need this HM. So, yeah, this could be bad. Oh well. Let's go get the quick coral. Teacher man, come talk to me. Oh fine, be that way. Walk away. Be a dick. I'll just leave. Oh, you're coming back. Huh. <laughs> They'll get his quick claw. What will he do with them? Like, scratch them? Is that even legal? Oh well, we already know the you know, legal the laws of this place are like kind of not straight. You know. If you look someone in the eyes, you have to battle them. All this other stuff. There's the gym. Do we dare go in? Not yet. Hmm. Maybe we will. Later. Well, actually, I'll wait. I'm really tempted to try to run out there because of the uh, fact that I can catch a new Pokemon. And hopefully, I'm hoping for a Ninkata to be the first Pokemon I encounter. But, knowing my luck, that probably won't happen, so let's just go ahead and go into the gym and kill them. Do we even need to cut in this game? I don't know. Like, to beat the game? I can't remember. I don't think I do. Well, I mean, I'll probably need it at some point down the line, but hopefully at some point down the line I'll have cut already. I mean, I know there's places I'd like to use it, but I don't know if I absolutely need it in order to beat the game. Anyway, let's hope my Mudkip does not die here. Because that would be a very bad thing to only have a Ralts. Using Geodude. Again. He just sends out the same Geodude. That would be weird. Yeah, that would just suck if trainers could use, like, uh, like, revives and stuff. That would just make, like, the Elite Four that much harder. It would just go on forever. Because they'd keep reviving their Pokemon. They'd keep sending them out. It would be horrendous. But luckily they can't do that. They can only use like potions. And Jerome is level 13. And we defeated Youngster Josh. Ugh. Hiccups. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, probably if I can't beat you, then I wouldn't stand a chance against Roxanne because you are a bad trainer. Roxanne is not as bad of a trainer. Considering you only run a level 11 Geo, dude. Yeah. If I lose to you, that would be sad. With my Mudkip. That's hardly possible that I would lose. Oh well. Don't Sir Tommy. Indeed. These kids get paid to be in here? I wonder. Anyway. Hello, I'm Roxanne, the Rustboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Could you kindly demonstrate? Are you battling with which Pokemon? Sure. Why not? Now then, let's see if we can defeat her. Without losing any of our Pokemon. Because a Geodude is level 14. Water gun. Get wet. I bested you with dampness. Level 14. Come on, level up again. Ow. Nose pass. Indeed. Level 15. Now I don't get, you know, four times weakness against this nose pass, but water gun should still do a fair amount of damage. Well. Okay, that harden shouldn't do anything. Good. Attack. Oh no. Good, I'm still alive. Ah. That's right, that's why this game can sometimes be annoying, because she runs potions. 
Oh, well, still shouldn't be a problem. If I'm right, oh. Still shouldn't be a problem because, I mean, this is not attacking. I can just keep getting out water guns. In fact, yeah, now she won't heal because her, po her Poikon's only in the yellow. The way the AI works, it seems, is that they're, they'll only heal the Pokemon if they're in the red. And there we have it. And Jerome lived to tell the tale. But, uh. I'm trying to learn bye. Why not? Hmm. Actually. Eh. Nah. It's not that useful of a move. Oh, crap. No. But, you know, tackle is good just as you. Just as a backup. Mostly water gun, though, is probably what I'll use. Anyway, yeah, you get a gym badge, hooray! Uh, yeah, because I. Official Pokemon League! Stone badge! Hooray! But, I mean. Alright. Stone badge heightens the attack of your Pokemon, also enables them to use the HM cut outside of battle. You take this with you, too! TM39. Nifty. Probably will not be using it. Team 39 contains Rock Tomb, and not only inflicts damage by dropping the rocks, it also lowers speed. It uses TM and instantly teaches the move to a Pokemon. Remember, Team can only be used once, so think before you use it. Sounds like a plan. Let's continue on. And while I. Get out, get out the way! Hey! He looks familiar. And so does he. Wait, please! Don't take my goods! <laughs> hmm. His goods. Well, let's see, he was just in the. He was just in the woods looking for Shroomish, like a mushroom sort of Pokemon. Seems like a sketchy dude. Just got robbed. Perhaps he is a magician. Hmm. I find it unlikely that he is a magician. Maybe we should ask him. Let's go ask him if he's a magician, shall we? Yeah. Oh, it's you. I forget the voice I gave him, but now this is his voice. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods. Help me, I was robbed by Team Magma. I have to get the Devon goods back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. I'm sure. Okay, Route 116. There's a trainer over there. Let's see what Pokemon we can find. This will determine a lot of things. Come on, Nikata. Curses! I knew it would be a tail -o. Curses. Um, hmm. May as well try to catch it. I think she'll be weak enough to not kill it. Because I fear that Jerome is too strong. Okay, good. That should be perfect. And no bag. Pokeball. A good. Still hold down the B button and tilt it like a pro. Yeah, Taylor was caught. Indubitably. Yep. Taylor courageously stands its ground against foes, however strong they may be. His gutsy Pokemon will remain defiant even after a loss. On the other hand, it cries loudly if it becomes hungry. Nick? Yes, we'll nickname it, and we'll nickname it... Just random name. First name that popped into my mind. Ashley. That's a girl's name. Anyway, let's go heal Ashley. But first, let's look at her moves. Attack, focus energy, and growl. Nifty. Nifty indeed. Indeed. Well, with Ashley now in tow, and me about to heal her, I think I'll go ahead and call that an episode. We did some stuff. We met the Devon Magician. We defeated Roxanne. And we still have all of our Pokemon. We have had no fatalities. So, in the next part, we will continue and help to find the Devon Magician goods in what I assume to be the Rock Tunnel. Of course, we don't know that yet. We, just, we were just told to go find it. We don't know where it is. But secretly, I think I know where it is. That's what we'll do. See you guys next time.